Fallout Shelter Best Armor. This is the game Fallout Shelter, and I'm going to show you some of the uniforms and armor that you can use in the game. Over here, you click on Outfits, and you can see the selection of outfits that I have in my storage. You notice that this one over here says Heavy Vault Suit, and for Perceptions, it's a plus 7. That's really good. There is something that, that I saw that's a plus, that is an 8, which I will try to show you later. But the plus 7 is very um, likely to appear. It's kind of common be able to get them. This one over here, you see how it says plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two, which is plus eight, the Minuteman uniform. This one over here is a four plus a three, Wasteland Surgeon. Not in any special order. Over here, you have a link that says outfits. These are blueprints, which means you can create these if you want. You don't have to find them. So you see you got expert jumpsuit and expert lab coat, which are plus seven. Over here we've got a two 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 two, the tattered long coat, the Minuteman uniform, the wasteland surgeon. We already got some of these. There's a lot that I'm missing. The heavy raider armor, the three and a four, and the heavy vault suit seven. I do have one. Heavy Battle Armor 4 and a 3. Now these are 2, 2, 2, and 1. Might not be exactly what you're looking for. And then we start getting into the 6s. The other thing that you can do is you can craft using the See this room over here? It looks like it has some sort of a model. And it's got sewing machines and textiles. It says expert jumpsuit. I probably have more than one of these rooms. See, there's another one over here. And you click on cost going down. Usually the most expensive ones are over here. We got the heavy battle armor, which I can make right here, and the heavy leather armor. Bitter Cups outfit. But you're probably looking for heavy battle armor to keep your dwellers alive. And then you see the numbers start to go down into the fives, into the threes, etc. And the other thing you do is you click on time, and you're going to see some similar ones. In this case, the leather armor is ranked differently than the battle armor. Then we got power armor. But you're probably going to want the battle armor. The plus four strength, plus three endurance. Then you click on it, you click OK, and it will start creating it. Got this dweller over here. And you can change their outfits. Click over here, and you see you've got your inventory. It shows you what everybody's wearing in no special order. And then you've got this option. See how it says equipped? Then it says all. Inventory equipped all. So inventory means that no one is using it. And then equipped means someone is wearing it, and that's the person that's wearing it. And then you've got stats. See that the 2221, which is a 7, and the 7, and the 7, and the 7, and the 6, and the 5, they're all at the top like the heavy battle armor here. And then you scroll down and you've got the plus threes, which are the ones you want to get rid of and replace them with higher numbered values. So I also have uh, a dweller who is out in the wasteland. 
this gentleman right here. And you can see he has two items over here. And he has a lab coat on. If I wanted to, I could switch it. I Sorry, I don't remember how to do it, but I know that there's a way to do it. Unless they change the game. I used to switch. Or maybe you can only do it if, they, if they're not equipped. I can't do it anymore. But all these items will be returned. They'll go into your storage. And you'll get rid of the ones you don't want, such as the formal wear and the lab coat and the medic. And you'll keep the ones with the higher values, like the plus five over here. Notice that some of them are in blue and some are in yellow. That means that you don't want to sell them because. They contain some sort of a rare uh, junk that you're going to want to keep. This is, for example, military duct tape is rare. The microscope is probably rare. So you want to keep those and you want to use the recycle option. Okay, so that's about the uniforms. And that's how you find the best armor in Fallout Shelter and the best uniform in Fallout Shelter. I own a website called cheapbooks.cc, which has a discussion forum with guides and tutorials about video games, including Fallout Shelter. And I own cheapbooks.com, which is a website for searching for books and textbooks if you have any questions or comments. Please post below.